Okay, here's a box from Double X. And we got more tough bubbles. All right. I love the greens. You sent me the white ones. All right. I wonder if these are the glow in the dark ones. I'm going to have to try that out. Super. Thanks, Double X. Oh, bonus. This is the glow in the dark ones. All right. Aloha guys, Scooby Chris here. Many years ago, God, I guess it was around 2015 or so, um, I was out there whipping. Yeah, short casting, we call it whipping when we use a little piece of lead egg. And it's, it's a very popular means of fishing here in Hawaii. And I was out whipping and I lost two of my rigs because I'm only whipping in two to four feet of water. I, I had to increase my speed to get uh, my little um, jig rig back in. And sometimes you got Cor branches of coral coming up closer to the water surface and you may not be able to make it in time and you don't want to do it too fast because then the fish can't catch up to it and i figured well this is not working and this is before bill newton invented his hammer bombs which are cast assist devices here in hawaii if you haven't tried a hammer bomb i really suggest you should now at the time we i was using a lot of these products these these are beautiful bubbles since then, um, they made tough bubbles, which this is. It's uh, it's thicker. That's why they call it tough bubbles. So when you cast it out and you and it lands, it's not going to crack, or it's not supposed to crack. So what I did is, you know, I was feeling this water at the time. You know, you just get the skinny in there, go, boom. Look at that. Very simple, right? And it goes right back in, and you press it down hard to trap the water in here. So you know, you fill it with water, cast it out. And you had just enough air, air in here to keep this on the surface, so you just bring it back. Now, what I found is that, hey, I was thinking, hey, what if this made sound? So, I used BBs, and I found out for every 21 BBs, that's one out. So, I made a nice video on this. It actually worked. I mean, a lot of my friends use it. I still use it to this day, and you hear it, cha-ching, 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 uh, when it's being on the retrieve. And you know what? That attracts fish. The very first, very first cast I made with this, I hit up a peel. And I got that on video, which I'm going to show right here. So what I did is I wrote um, a letter to the company that produces, which at the time was Rainbow Plastics. The president, he's a nice guy. He answered me. He said, hey, I like your idea. I like the video. Can I use that on my site? And I said, sure. And ever since then, every year, um, even if I don't ask for it every year, they send me bags of new colors or new types of um, these bubbles, the tough bubbles, which is great. So I want to show you how I go about using the tough bubbles in a Carolina rig. Now, in Hawaii, we usually do our whipping rigs, but it's basically an offshoot of what is known as a Carolina rig. Okay, guys, check this out. This is what's known as a Carolina rig. Here in Hawaii, it's just basically a whipping rig, but it's called a Carolina rig. Now, you got your main line coming down here, and normally you would have a sliding lead sinker here. But uh, for, for this to work, I use a tough bubble. And I'm going to substitute the tough bubble for the lead. Now, you can have a bead. Normally, it's a bead is usually on this side, but you can put a bead on both sides. And the, you're going to fill the uh, tough bubble. You can fill it most likely with water, um, but you can also use BBs, which is what I did. And that, that rattle rattle sound does attract the fish in. Got a swivel here so it doesn't start, your line st doesn't start twirling and bunching up. Your leader line, whatever you want to use. You got your hook here. Your hook can either have a grub on it, which is what I normally do, or you can have some bait on it. It could also just be a jig or anything any other type of lure. Thanks. Grenade! Well, that was basically a di uh, diagram of what a Carolina rig should look like. Um, you can vary it to however you want it. You can have a, um, you, you don't have to use um, swivels, but I like to have, at least you put one swivel on, you can put two swivels on, you can put one or two 
um, beads on each end. It's up to you. You can vary it the way you want it to be. So um, since I sent that off to um, Rainbow Plastics, uh, the company changed its name. It's no longer Rainbow Plastics. It's still the same company, but now it's called Double X. And Double X still takes care of me. When I started to run low on these, I wrote a letter. And lo and behold, they still remember who I was. And they sent me this beautiful box of several bags of these products. And they said, hey, give them out. You know, give them to your friends. Spread the word. And if you need more, we'll send you more. Really, really nice company. Nice individuals in that company. Great president, too. So this is what I've been using. And let me show you how I use it. Now you got a nice hit. As soon as I toss the bubble out, as soon as I toss the bubble out, within a split second of hitting the water, something attacked it. That has never happened to me before. As soon as the bubble hit the water, something splashed and hit, hit this, and it's taking off. It's going, now it was on the right, now it's going to the left. You can see it, look at fighting the tip. Don't know what it is. Never had that happen where it just hits the water and boom, something takes off. Okay, it's coming in. Let's see what it is. Wow, look at that. It's a peel, but as soon as the thing hit the water, it came in. Wow. Right on. Good morning, Mr. Papillo. That's all it takes.